Hey, hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Raven's Watch. We're going to be playing through the game on yet another character today. We're going to be showcasing the Snow Queen, the last of the characters for me to show off. I am going to start off this video by saying a lot of the stuff in this character's kit seems pretty good. There's a lot of control. It's a typical ice mage, so you're going to be chilling stuff. And then we even have ice shatter to deal increased damage to chilled targets. A lot of it does seem to have synergy, but her numbers seem on the lower side compared to everyone else. This is from my feedback as well as the feedback from my friends as we were playing through this in co-op. You'll notice that this character's level one is because we could never even finish a run on it because we never really got our momentum going in co-op. Co-op is a lot harder. I might be able to do it by myself, but I just wanted to plant that seed. Things might feel a little different in this episode, and I think her damage is the main reason and why. As we spawn in, one of the other things that feels weird is our trait ability. Our Q ability is what sends us out on that path and not our shift ability. Usually shift is used for sprinting and moving faster. So the fact that this is on Q feels weird, but I can overlook that. I can get over that. The skating on ice is pretty cool. Any enemy that walks in the path of our ice is also going to be chilled, and we can do a bunch of cool stuff versus chilled enemies as well. Our left click sends out ice in a straight line. This will chill enemies as well, although it doesn't seem like the ch the, the buildup is really good. They do more damage to chill targets, but I guess I can't chill them with it. So... Uh, our right click creates a large zone. This will chill enemies and it does pretty good damage. I have seen some cool upgrades for this that turn it into like a blizzard effect. And if we are fighting a chilled enemy, one thing we can do is use our E to shatter them. This will deal burst damage, but then remove any chill effects. So we would have to re-chill again if we could. Our shift ability is Cone of Cold. If anyone gets close, we can chill them with that as well as deal damage. So we might have a pretty okay rhythm of abilities. For instance, if an enemy gets too close, E, shatter, right click to reapply chill, and then our left click deals bonus damage. So with all of this in mind, we'll see if we can get a good run today. We do have two options for our starting upgrade, windy lances, windy lances. Uh, attacks lance can curve to seek targets and reset their lifetime whenever they hit up to four times. We could also go with Ice Clone. Trait leaves behind an Ice Clone with 50% of the hero's health. This is going to attract enemies to it, and only one clone can exist at a time. I think Windy Lances, no Windy mouth. Lances sounds a little bit better. Uh, also at this shop, we could try to upgrade something as well, but we don't have any of the currency for that. So if this is your first time seeing this game, our goal is to kill a boss at the end of the fifth day and uncover as much of this map as we can to find stuff to help us along the way. Uh, I noticed that we had a health increase right at the start, so I'm going to head towards that and see if we can find any fun combos for our damage to see what we can make work. So as we fly over these guys, I'll just go ahead and shatter them right away. Then with our right click, we would have reapplied that chill so we could theoretically shatter again. Now the shatter does have a relatively long cooldown of six seconds, so it's not like I'm going to be constantly blowing up the screen or anything, but that added effect can be pretty nice. Our auto attack deals more damage against shield targets, so if I can get up close and just give them that debuff, then we're pretty okay. But just left clicking isn't going to be slowing anyone down. I have to weave my abilities in for that. We do increase our HP and see a chest located inside this wooded area here. Let's see what is defending it. Looks like some rat men as well as some ghosts. And those ghosts are coming in hot. I tried to leave a trail. Didn't do too well with it, though. Let's go ahead and shatter these guys here to start off with a bit of damage. And the chilled enemies that are coming towards us should die off pretty quickly. Uh, but it looks like that chill effect doesn't really last too long either. Uh, Kona Cold into a shatter. Right click. And this guy won't be getting up anytime soon. Let's go ahead and grab our upgrade. Uh, attack deal 20% increased damage. That sounds good. Also 10% for each negative effect wouldn't be terrible, but I think we only apply chill. 
I think that's it. So our attack deals plus 20% damage. That's our left click. We already have the synergy with it. So it deals more damage to chill targets and seeks out more targets. So if I can go into an area and focus on keeping them chilled, we might be dealing a pretty decent amount of damage. Her left click feels slow, like the, the wind up for these shots takes a while. So breaking destructibles feels a little weird. Let me go ahead and just right click these guys and see how we're doing. Oh, it looks like if I shatter them inside of our power effect, our right click effect, then they can continue to be chilled even after the shatter. So that might be a good synergy to go with. Uh, either way, we don't want to hang out here too much longer. <laughs> he saw me use the code of cold there, thinking it was my movement skill. It should be on shift. That's all I'm saying. Uh, weird interaction with the curvy thing, too. I just want to break that money and be on my way. Why is that so hard? I don't seem to be able to do it. Wow, the chill here is actually very good. So fighting at choke points could be very strong, potentially, just like when we were playing the mermaid. Ooh, all right, maybe I'm starting to see it. Maybe there's a glimmer of hope here. Our upgrade special also sends four attacks in a cone forward, or after using power, five waves of ice fall in an area. Now, Lance Burst does seem good, and we do have attack damage scaling, but Hailstorm is an epic level ability. And I was talking about this effect earlier, I believe. This is one of my favorite effects for this character because when we right click, it's like a blizzard goes off at the same time. And if we're playing around it like we have been, where we're kind of kiting through it and then using that to chill enemies, that extra damage there should be pretty good, hopefully. Oh, 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 hopefully. I don't see anything here. I don't know why I'm wasting time with it. Let me keep on moving. There is some money just above us that I do want to grab. That brings our total up to 62 for this run. Big old spider at the top of the screen. These guys are also protecting a key that I wouldn't mind having. He's chilled, so I just went in for the shatter damage. But it looks like that's already over. Uh, I can right click one more time. Try to avoid these trees to the best of my ability. And these left clicks really are these attacks are doing a pretty good number on these guys. We're gonna cold a cold into a shatter one more time just to stun out the spider. And we gotta make sure we're always looking at these trees because if they get close to you, they do those root attacks really quickly. Uh, this seems kind of far away to be a key for the event to my left, which is making me think there's another one of those red crossbone events nearby, but I don't know, maybe, maybe that's close enough. I'm not super familiar with the radiuses of these events and how close keys can spawn, but they're usually usually pretty close. Looks like there's some more money for us to grab in here, but some strong enemies as well. I'm gonna try, oh my God. Oh my God. I wanted to take down that healer first, but it looks like I'm kind of zoned out for that at the time being. There's gonna be yet another barrage happening and it doesn't seem to care about height elevations. It's just coming towards me. Uh, we are getting pretty low on HP here, but the Cthulhu monster has gone outside and teleported towards me. Let's see if I can keep it chilled. Uh, that oh no, I didn't see that attack for me. That's okay. We have four resurrections per run and that's just using one of them. Unfortunately, it looks like he was able, oh, he was able to nullify all of that stagger damage we built up during that time, which is a bit unfortunate. And even though I did stagger him, I wasn't really able to deal too much damage while he was staggered. Oh, it's these priests, they're healing him back up. Well, let's put it into that as quick as we can. There's a big shatter hoping for a big effect. We didn't really get it. One of the healers dead now, that blizzard doing a number on the other. I can shatter to hopefully stagger the Cthulhu, but that didn't quite work. Now going in for a shift into a right click. We have three days remaining. Our time is progressing. Positioning's okay. What's the health at? Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, I got hit. Chatter. Pray for a region globe. <laughs> okay, we got it. And just like I was, ex I was expecting, there is another of those red events on the map here, so we weren't too far off basis. I do need to find more damage before we do an event like that. Uh, those are timed events. 
and you really need to be on the ball when you're clearing them. But because we have the key, that means we do have the option to do it whenever we want. Uh, a bit more money back here in the corner. I'm going to try to gobble it up. Looks like two different hook attacks on either side. Holy crap, that was a bunch of damage. I also thought I was out of the range of that. Someone might need to go back and re-watch that for me. I mean, I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. In the moment, everything seems infinitely more terrifying, but I'm pretty sure I was out of that. Uh, Banshee is coming in to control this area with a bunch of trees as well. We do have the key for this, but I have no reason to really stay and fight other than XP. So if this is looking too sketchy, which it, it really is, uh, we don't have to stay. But if I can get some easy kills on the side and set off some chain reactions, then, you know, I might as well stick around if it goes okay. <laughs> and that seems like a big if at the moment. Getting stagger on the Banshee is proving difficult. I'm going to go in for another shatter here into another cone of cold. They're both stunned now, but they don't have that chill effect on them. So my left click wasn't dealing much damage at all. Uh, the healer in the back has been taken down, though, and we just hit level three. Yeah, to give you a, a bit of a difference. I mean, it, it really does come down to how much I'm killing as well. Special also sends three attacks in a cone. That seems really good. It really does come down to how much I'm killing. But on the mermaid, we were level three before the, before the second day. We're halfway through the second day now, and I just hit level three. Here's boss. I'm going to try to dodge its attacks to the best of my ability. It only has two. One is a dive like that, and then there's a frontal cone. We know that. I feel like that's giving us a pretty big advantage. Although I wasn't expecting him to do two frontal cones back to back. That was kind of surprising. This will be the charge forward, and unfortunately, he leaves my chill. Now that we've staggered him, I'm going to try to continue to deal damage. He's even chilled with our left click being enhanced, but... We're not even close to 50% HP. Uh, you only have two minutes to complete this quest. I was hoping that we'd be a little bit further along by now. That's another dash forward. The slow is giving me more time to react to those things. To its credit. Oh, wow. I didn't even know they have range attacks. I haven't been in the fight this long. Well, that's a resurrection used. Uh, a minute left on this. And uh, we haven't even hit the ad base. <laughs> I'll try my best to stay alive, but I don't think I can clear this. Uh, we're going to have to fight a lot of casters now, so let me start rolling through here. I'll do a shatter, hoping to just finish off anyone that I can. A shift forward. I'm going to queue again soon, and we'll just try to shatter off that one more time, like right through the middle. Shatter. Right click. Uh, this going through chilled targets should be pretty good. Oh, it's my... I don't even think the Cone of Cold does any damage, or those guys didn't take any, that's for sure. Uh, boss should be coming back. Where is he? Immediately into a charge. That's pretty bullshit. I kind of hate that. 14 seconds left. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, the plan after this is to run southwest. I'm going to try to get a HP increase. That might be pretty good for me. Boss just despawned. I will be on my way. That was a huge waste of time for us. And remember, time is everything in this game. But it does look like there's another key nearby. Uh, trap cannot move. This isn't looking good for me and my health increase. Although I might be able to kite these guys around here. Let me get a good blizzard down on that corner, and that could go a long way. Some spiders trying to flank, but our chill on the right does seem to be holding. That hook would have killed me, and we don't have any HP to lose. In fact, I think next hit kills me. Oh, oh God, why is the defensive on shift? Holy shit! This is a healer. I can't do anything with the healer alive. Although that right click was enough to isolate that target and take them down. That wasn't bad. Uh, I'm going to have to go back towards healer into a shatter. That was good. Uh, there is a tree still working its way towards me. And with this slingy thing, I can actually shoot around obstacles, which I haven't been able to do on other characters. I will admit that's kind of nifty. Oh, God, we're still in combat. Still in combat. It's a big old spider. 
That's okay. Right click. Good stagger. Keep up the damage. Oh, God. Oh, God. Shatter. Right click. Oh, okay. Little touch and go there, but we got it. We got it. I'm going to venture east now and see if I can find anything over there that might be helpful. This would be helpful, but I don't think I could clear the event in time. I need more damage. I need a lot more damage. Like a lot. Oh, God. There's another one of those events. Okay. Not doing either of those. Let's keep scurrying around the map. Look how little of it I've actually uncovered. It's because each of these altercations has occupied so much of our time just sitting there concentrating on it trying to clear it we have a red chest here i will definitely go for this one right click on these guys as they group up into a shatter and that was good aoe see there's there's hope here there's definitely hope it's just like how far am i gonna get on hope <laughs> one remaining enemy i don't know what these totems do it's probably a buff uh, so in the next two days, we need to farm two levels. Uh, attack steal 20% more damage, reduce dash cooldown, or ultimate cooldown. We'll do attack cooldown. Because we have other skills as well that are radiating attacks as we just use those. Uh, that should be a good synergy. Maybe that means I need to just focus on chilling more often. Uh, I'm not sure. That's a lot of money. I'll try to take it and be on my way. Excuse me. This area has not been explored just yet. We're seeing a lot of trees already, though. Something in the middle here. We don't know what kind of something. It looks to be a lot of money. Uh, okay, that's not doing anything. Let me try to move around. I'll grab that. And you know what? We should try to stay just because we need the levels. So there's my shatter. Here's my right click. These enemies are grouped up and chilled. This is best case scenario. Shift as well. Shatter one more time. Okay. Yeah, we got through that. That was a decent amount of XP too. I'm going to keep scooting through though until... Yes, health increase down here in the corner. We are in combat, so we are going to need to finish these guys off. Put a good right click into a chill there. Should go pretty far. We are weakened at the moment, however... Let me shoot these around the corner if I can again. It worked once. Come on. Come on. Stun that guy as he's running in. That's pretty good. The The point control is pretty good. Uh, honestly thought I would kill that guy before he attacked. Lost a lot of health, but it's not that big of a deal. We didn't die, and we have a health increase right here. Bringing our total up to 142. All right. Um, I could check above me. But it's mostly a road. There's a little money that I can't get. <laughs> I don't want to fight the Banshee. That would take too long. That would take too long. Uh, let me check out this next area slightly west of us. There is a big circular area down here. And a lot of the events that would normally occupy this have already been discovered. So I'm not sure what to think of this. We might be finding a statue here, though. Uh, f yes, fighting this many of the trees can be incredibly scary. But we got chill on all of them. Did big shatter damage. We can shift here, shift it, and stun there for some reason. I'm going to go through again and shatter. That's not bad. That's not bad. Maybe that's what the play style is supposed to be, like really aggressive sliding in. And then while you're waiting for your slide cooldown, you kind of uh, bunker up, if that makes sense. Defense deals 66 damage over its duration. Defense is our shift ability. It's the Cone of Cold. Deals more damage over... Oh, because it didn't deal damage before. That's right. It was just a knockback and a chill. Okay. Okay, we have another chest here. And a lot of trees protecting it. Let's get all of their attention at the same time, if we can. I'm sure there's ways that we can augment our slide as well to be like on a on a shorter cooldown or a longer duration or something. And I am starting to notice that our right-click damage is getting kind of meaningful. 
with all of those upgrades that we've gotten for. Okay, the slide into the shatter is not bad. That is not bad at all. Uh, power cooldown reduced by 20%, dashing deals damage or after attacking gig crit chance. I'm gonna do power. We already have the double, uh, with triple wave. One, the quadri- I don't know what five is in that kind of terminology, but it does five waves. That's very good. That's very good. So if we can make the damage of my right click better, I want to do that. Is it pentuple? Is that what it is? I just guessed. Literally, literally just an educated guess. Uh, this ramp should be housing something at the very top. Let's see what it is. Another crow statue. Actually, not that bad because when you find two of these, they uncover a really good portion of the map. But wait a minute. Is this our first one? All of my runs are starting to bleed together. I'm sorry. I'm panicking. There's guys coming up the stairs. I found that these raven shrines actually show the position of the health increases really reliably. In fact, that might be like hard coded into it. So there is a health increase to the right that we can grab. Uh, and then we could fast travel back. You know what? Let me do this first because we only have one day left. We really have to move. I'm going to go north from here, fight around this yellow chest that we find, teleport down for the health increase, teleport to the shop to increase our skills, and I guess we'll just kind of figure it out from there. So I need to kill all of the undead here. Right click, shatter. All right. Uh, I need the damage. Perfect. We actually got the damage. My left click is dodging the guy I'm trying to hit, but that left click damage is doing really well now. Uh, Slappy Boy coming in. We can stun him on the way in. Okay. All right. All right. I'm starting to see it. Power deals more damage. Sure. That sounds excellent. Then I need this Raven to... Where is it? Uh, I need to group these guys up very quickly. They're very easy enemies. That shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, my right click almost completely killed them. Much less everything else I was doing. There is an elite coming in. Let me hit him with the Cone of Cold. Shatter. Man, with the Cone of Cold dealing damage too, that means we're not only applying more chill, we're applying more stagger to elites like that. That is a very good upgrade, but we don't have time. Move, 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 move. Keep moving, keep moving. Always be moving. There's a health increase directly above me being guarded by ghosts. Uh, Shatter does deal damage without them being frozen as well, it seems. Oh, and that left click is chunking. Okay, grab this. Uh, back down to the teleporter as fast as I can. We're going to need to go to the starting shop as fast as I can. Unfortunately, these guys are going to stop me momentarily. 168 total HP after picking up that upgrade is not bad. Leave the ice and the shatter. Come on, die. Come on. I got to go. Uh, back to starting shop. Now that we're here... Uh, I'm going to try to just upgrade anything I can, as much as I can, with the $300 that we have. Uh, another wave of our ice falling would be great, especially... No, that's a passive. Uh, let me get... 160... Let's make defense better. I really like our defense now that it does damage. I think it's really good now. Uh, we don't have long, but I'm going to try to skate my way towards that final HP increase over there. That's gonna be my number one priority. All this extra stuff is kind of whatever. Although I could do this event. Our damage is probably good enough for this event. I just have to kill this guy first and potentially one more enemy that's chasing me. Two more enemies that are chasing me. I'm gonna do that with just left clicks. Our left clicks, even on non-chilled enemies, is starting to hit hard. To meet your okay, team. kill all enemies before the timer expires. It's not a long timer, so we need to hurry, but all of these enemies should be feasibly killable relatively quickly, especially since we got damage on this elite really fast. Uh, he is chilled, but not stunned. Shatter's back up. Let's send it. Huge AoE damage with the shatter. And then we skate right back on through. We can shift here right out of his way. Shatter again for big damage. All right. 
All right, I'm becoming a believer. Frostway, channel Frostway to the ground, dealing damage over time and creating frost in a targetable zone. Uh, I am going to improve some random upgrades. We don't need the experience from that because we're already at the max level. We have access to our ultimate, but I don't think I'm gonna use it before the boss event because I need that power spike for there. And this health increase was what we were after. Let me slide back through. We're gonna focus on the healer. Great damage. And shift as this guy comes in. And the damage on the on the shift is so good. It's so good. Um I only have $19, but I can come in here, grab this money and run. That's 183. There's a shop kind of far, but if I hurry, I might be able to make it. Southeast of me a little bit. Uh, if I go to the right here, it looks like there will be a way to enter. Uh, I'm gonna have to clear whoever's there pretty quickly. The screen's gonna start, start turning red really soon. But these are easy to kill enemies. They were mostly in melee. Shatter. Well, Shatter didn't deal any damage to those guys when they weren't chilled, but I saw it earlier. Chunk a dude that wasn't chilled. Okay, we are going to put $100 into the wishing well, and in return, attack damage increased by 20%. So 46 versus non chilled versus chilled 105 that was a critical hit though i think well nothing to do now but wait for the end the screen is slowly turning red and soon we will be brought in to the boss encounter i guess before we do that is the next upgrade 100 or is it 150 chatter and i might oh it's 150 i was hoping i'd be able to buy another one all right, here we go. We have arrived at the same place we always arrive. The forefront of a tentacle monster trying to gain access to our realm, and we are the only ones that can stop it. Uh, shift into Shatter. Stunned the tentacle before I could really do anything. Let me skate around here and just see what our left click damage is. 105 on crits, 70 on nons versus chilled targets. We can dodge this all day. That's no problem. Let me go ahead and skate over here. I'm gonna have to dodge through. Maybe I'll start working on this tentacle first. Left clicks into a shatter, stun it very quickly. Wow. Cone of cold does about a third of the thing's damage in a single cooldown. Thing's health and damage in a single cooldown. We have one more waiting for us. And once it dies, I'm gonna try my ult. Oh yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That's a very good ultimate. Uh, chill. Use my shift. And that was about half the boss's health in a single go. Our ultimate ability has a 60 second cooldown. So actually on the faster side of most of the characters. Now that we're level five, I do feel pretty powerful. It just took a while to get there. And ultimately some learning to get there too. There were some mechanics that we discovered along the way as well. Uh, good right click into a shatter. That's all it takes. I could literally just kind of chill here. Grab this, this globe. Right click shatter. Oh. oh yeah, with the extra waves, that is all it takes. I got worried when I saw his health was still there. Skate on down here. Now we don't want to right click this. We want to save those cooldowns for boss if we can. Avoiding to the best of my ability. One more hit, pushes the phase. Oh, we have ult again. As much as I can. Wow, that was good. I knew ult was gonna come back fast. I didn't think I'd be able to use it on the very next phase of the boss. That was very good. Okay, we're going through. That's an E. Didn't stagger it, so I have a lot of tentacles coming for me. Oh, Lord. Region Glow, we're back in the game. That damage looks great. Another Region Globe looks even better. Um, I do kind of feel like I need to wait for my ult cooldown. Uh, that's where a lot of our damage has been in these phases. 
And if I hit the boss without my ult, I don't know. I don't know if that's doable. Oh, God. And we have to get away from this area because it has the goop on the ground. Tentacle's about to slap. We're out of the way. Shift E right click. No, shift E is all we need. Okay. We're, oh, God. <laughs> I looked away for a sec. I glanced at my HP for a second and I lost the bullet hell game. We do have ult. We do have ult. Go. One more. Go. My eyes shall be your come on, come on, come on, come on. Be enough. Shatter. Oh, man. That was one of the more difficult runs that we've done in this showcasing little series that we've been putting on the channel. I feel like I'm out of breath after that. Now, of course, there is more content coming to the game in the future. And these little gripes that we had along the way might be ironed out. Our damage at the end of the run was not looking bad. Uh, and our damage taken, honestly, was not that bad either, especially considering we have three deaths as well. But that's going to do it for us today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys again very soon.